Well, here we go. And what I'd like to do uh, is show you how to build these uh, tool post bolts. We're going to need two of these. Uh, they're an SAE 140 heat treated tool steel. Uh, that, re that refers to the hardness, how hard they are. And um, I w actually s was up Friday night. I couldn't sleep because I was trying to figure out how to how to draw this and make it as easy as possible. Um, and there's a couple tricks that I came up with that I'd like to show you. So I'm going to slide this next door here and put this over here. And we're going to go in. We're going to look at our project folder. Con confirm that we're there in the tool post folder. Okay. And go to go to new. Go to go English standard part. And uh, we're going to start out. We're going to draw a circle. Get dead center on. And we're going to type in, and it's important to type in this correctly. Point four three seven three which is seven sixteenths not half inch okay here we go and I'm gonna go into world here and one of the things I'm gonna do because I want this thing to stand up straight so I'm going to go to front here right click on home and go set this view as top okay and then I'm gonna come in here and get up on the front of this here like that I'm gonna right click home view, fixed distance. So now when I pick home, it's in the vertical uh, vertical uh, position. Now if you look carefully down here at the UCS though, um, I have I have my X and Y and my Z going up, so we should be okay. And that's what we're used to when we looked at AutoCAD, if you remember, top, left, front, okay? So right click, done, right click, finish sketch, okay? Go to extrude, I got. Uh, I don't have a total on my drawing, so we're gonna have to do a little adding, subtracting here. I'm actually adding 1.63 plus 0.13 for a total height. Okay. There we go. Then um, I could do a couple different things. I could uh, do a um, plane like this and draw a profile and then do a rotation but I'm going to do it uh, just as a stacked piece so I'm just going to escape out of here right click pick new sketch pick the top of this here come on now oops there it is pick that okay there's my new sketch I'm going to pick my circle come in here and find my center Oops. Right click, finish sketch. Okay. Go to sketch to right click, edit sketch, and then pick that. Okay. And go to circle, pick. Okay, why is this doing this? I'm something's fighting me here. Um, right click, finish sketch. Okay. I think I'm just going to get rid of this and delete it. And then I'm going to go create a new sketch and then pick that face. There we go. I think that's what I needed to do. Somehow I got something screwed up there. Go up here and pick my circle again. And grab my center. I believe this is 0.75. Okay. Right click. Done. Right click. Finish sketch. Go to extrude. Don't forget to pick the center also and the outside of it and I believe it's 0.6 radius so that would be 0.12 thickness okay I'm good don't even bother to get out of anything just go right over here to fill it go in here and type in 0.06 okay and pick this little icon which is the edge fill it pick your bottom one and your top one and pick your green check and there we've created a great big blunt rivet. I get, it looks like a rivet, doesn't it? Flat bottom. Okay. Now, here's the next thing. So if you look at this, you probably are going, well, I'm going to create a rectangle on top of this thing and extrude it, and then uh, I'll be done. But there's this fillet that you see around here, and it's really hard to put a fillet around a square.
and figure out where it goes exactly. So what I'm going to do is show you uh, what I thought of last night and here's how we go. So I'm going to skip a couple times, right click, new sketch, pick that face, go to circle, find my center. Now look at here, I have two centers going on and this is not good, okay? This is really not good, okay? I'm going to go into view, go to visual styles, go to wireframe and find out what the heck is going on. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is go back up and I'm going to go finish sketch, right click to sketch one and go edit sketch. And I'm going to make sure that that center is there and it is. And I'm going to go finish sketch. Then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go to my next sketch which is extension two which is sketch three because I deleted sketch two. And go to edit sketch and that is dead that is not dead center. Look at that. And that is a real problem. And we'll come back to haunt us later, okay? So what I'm going to do is do your favorite thing, Aaron. I'm going to go move. I'm going to pick this object here. Pick my base point. Pick that center. And move it to that center. And go done. Okay? Now, let's see. If I pick this, it's center is the same as this center. We are good to go. We are golden now. There we go. Okay, it's great. Okay? So that's something you got to watch out for. Right click, finish sketch. So we're good. Now you notice we only have one center here, which is good. Okay? So what I'm going to do here now is go up here and right click and new sketch, picking this face here. Go to my circle. Be really careful and try to get in there. Give it a second to find it. Remember, Inventor needs a second to find things. Okay? Then I'm going to punch in a di dimension here. And this is about a radius that I've determined, which is 0 0.3095. So 0 0.3095. And since it's a radius, we've got to go times 2, which is the asterisk and a 2. And there we go. Okay? Escape right click, finish sketch, extrude, okay make sure we only only pick in the one here so extrude, just pick the inside one, great now why is it picking the outside one? oh it is picking the outside one did I type in the wrong number? Let's go in here and let's go to Edit Sketch. Edit Sketch. Finish Sketch. Edit Sketch. Three zero nine five radius. Okay. Now doesn't that that look like that is on the inside of that line. Okay. Right click, finish sketch. Extrude. Okay, I only want the one. So I've got, there we go. You're going to take time again. The geometry is so close. This distance between these two is so close that uh, inventors are having a hard time finding it. So I'm going to go in here and move my cursor back and forth until I only have the one that I want. There it is. I'm going to pick it. Right. Okay. And I'm going to put in the distance, which is 0.5. There we go. Excellent. Oh, sometimes it's more trouble than it's worth, it seems to me. Okay. So now, now we're going to need to do something here. So we're going to go over here, and I'm going to need a plane. I'm going to go right-click, visibility for that plane, and I'm going to go to the X, Z axis right here. Right-click, visibility for the Z axis. Okay. And then I'm going to go in here and go right click, new sketch, pick that plane, okay? Go to project geometry. I'm going to get my axis and project it. I'm going to pick this top edge of that and come around the front, pick that edge right there, go back to home, and you can see that it, those two edges are defined, which is just exactly what I want, okay? Now I'm going to go up here grab my line, I'm going to pick a point 
on this geometry here and a point on that geometry there and I don't care what they are for right now I'm just gonna come back and measure them when I'm done okay so I'm gonna pick that point there and that edge there and that's going in here and looking at that and that is point zero nine zero five point zero nine zero five okay and looks like I need to trim this one down here so I'll trim that back and then I'm going to dimension this and I'm going to go from that point to that place there and that is point zero five two three so point zero five two three there we go. Okay. Looks good. Right click, done. Right click, finish sketch. Extrude. There she is. Okay. Now, but we don't want to extrude it, right? I picked the wrong thing. Cancel. I wanted to pick revolve. Pick. There we go. Okay. Find my axis. So I pick my axis and pick that. There she is. Don't forget to cut because you want to subtract it. Delete it. There we go and just for fun we'll take a look and see what it looks like there you go I'm liking that okay now I'm gonna go back to, to my wireframe okay now here we go so this is the trick part so we've created our, our chamfer which that was pretty darn easy because we were able to use the geometry that was there on a round round sphere to create that cut plane and cut that out now we gotta do we gotta make this square how are we gonna do that I'm gonna right click new sketch pick right here I'm going to go up to Project Geometry. Project this geometry like there. Go to my top. Okay. Now, what I could do is go in here and draw a rectangle, but that would be the wrong thing to do. What we want to do is go draw a polygon. And we want to make it a four sided polygon, which just happens to be a rectangle, especially if we inscribe it. Okay. And being that it's polygon, it lets us grab the center of this takes away all our having to figure things out. And I'm going to touch the edge of that and you'll notice that it's touching the edge in all four corners and that's exactly what we want. Okay, Escape, escape, go to home. Okay, Now one of the things you can do about home is you can right click and go set current as home and go fix distance. Okay, And now every time you go to if no matter what I zoom out, it's going to come right back to that point. Okay, right back to that point. Okay, now I'm going to go up here and we're going to grab our friend offset, and because it's a polygon, it's going to let us pull it out. We don't care how big it is because we're just using it as a cutting tool. Okay, I'm going to go to right click done, get into my top position, right click finish sketch, go to extrude. Okay pick my circle out here and then slowly sneak in. Oh, look at that. I'm going to pick that, leaving the square. That's exactly what we want. Don't forget to cut. I believe you're already in a half inch. And there we go. Go to home. And there is our little block the way we want to see it. And I'm going to come down here and go to Shaded. And there it confirms. Look at that. That is exactly what we want. Okay. Now we got a little more to do down here. So we're going to go back into wireframe, go down into the front, okay, and we're going to go new sketch. We're going to pick this plane, okay, we're going to go project geometry, we're going to pick the bottom and this edge, okay, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to create a rectangle, and come on, find my corner, there it is, oop, didn't quite grab the corner, so I'm going to go into the home view, and come down and do it that way. I think it's a little bit easier sometimes to do it that way. And my just my cursor is just jumping all over the place. There she is. Let it find that point. Pull my rectangle up, okay? Now my first distance is going to be 0.03, okay? I'm going to tab it. And then my height is going to be 0.13. 0.13. Okay? Enter going to go right click finish sketch right click oop not right click model space revolve I'm going to pick my profile I'm going to come over here pick my axis and then pick my axis and there it goes don't forget to cut there it goes okay great 
while I'm here, I just come right down here in the bottom and go up to chamfer. And my chamfer edge on this is 0 0.0312, 0 0.0312. We're taking it right down to the nanosecond. We're liking that. Pick this edge, okay, and make sure we get the right edge. Oh man, is this the right one? I hope that's the right one. Okay, and apply. And let's see what happens. And that was the right one, amazingly enough. It's hard to tell sometimes in the 3D mode, especially in wireframe, because it sort of inverts things. I mean, doesn't that, if you look at this, and we know this is the top, if you, if you just kind of mask off everything from halfway down, that looks like it's facing you, and it's not. It's actually going away from you. Okay, let's go up here to uh, View, and go to Visual Styles, and go to Realistic. Okay, and let's go up and pick a really cool material. And I think I picked titanium polished. I kind of like that. I had that a little earlier. Titanium polished. Would that be up here in the metals? Yes, metal titanium polished. Oh, how pretty is that? Okay. I'd like to do one more thing, and I'll remember to put this on the drawing also. I'm going to go back in here, get back in the model. While we're in our 3D um, modify, go to I am going to go to fill it. And I'm going to go point oh one, and I'm going to pick these corners. Don't forget to pick your little corner there. One, two. I'm just going to rotate this around, and three and four, and I'm going to go green check, and okay. And I just put a little tiny fillet on those because if you were a machinist that's what you would do okay then uh, we got one more thing to do so escape escape right click on the visibility I'm gonna right click on the visibility and I'm gonna go up here and while we're still here I'm gonna pick a thread grab that face go into my specifications make sure that it's 7 16 14 Sorry about that, that was the phone. And I'm looking, and two A's just fine, and apply. So we are good here uh, with our 7 16 uh, thread, and we'll get out of that. Um, if you wanted to have a little fun with this, you could come up here and uh, zoom in, and come up here and just. Oh, that's interesting. Right click and go to properties, and you get face features if you haven't found this yet. And let's see if we can find. No, how about machined? Okay, and notice how it changes that face. Now look at this. Do you see what's going on here? We, I believe this is because we got three faces in here. This is interesting. I don't know why that is, but we got one up there. That must have been because of how I um, rotated it and cut it a bit. So pick that and let's see if we can hit control and right click, yep, in properties and metal what did I have, metal machined? Where was that? Machine zero and okay there you go. So you could play with that a little bit if you wanted to I think I'm going to just leave it and back out of that. Let's see if that took it away. And it did. Great. Okay. Oh, and it took us too far because I took off my threads. There we go. Right click and we are done. Okay, that's it. So uh, have fun building that. And I hope that uh, little scenario with the chamfer and stuff worked out for you. Take care.